Hi, it's Debbie Williams here. I'm an NLP trainer and hypnotherapist. And today I want to give you some ideas on how you can handle somebody who perhaps is bullying you in some way or who criticises you and makes you feel less than. Now, I learnt to do this myself through the process of NLP when my mother came to live with us um, after being in hospital in a coma. I decided to take on her and have her at home and knowing the kind of person that she was it was almost like bring it on what is she going to say next because she had a way with words that really could press your buttons so in my mind I put this filter there where I saw almost like this trout pout talking so it was like whatever she said it never really got under my skin because I thought oh she's off on one you know I'd make her some tea and I say how was that for you she says oh it was horrible but I ate it because I was hungry and she'd think oh, okay you know bring it on and over the years I've used this as suggestions to lots of clients and because I work with hypnosis I plant suggestions that you know their creative mind can come up with something far more superior and wonderful to help them than, than just this and I'll never forget one lady came to see me for weight loss and I did everything, you know, in the first session and I thought, yeah, we've done a good job. And the next week when she came back and she said, actually, I haven't lost any weight, I was quite surprised. And I said, well, what's happened? And she said, I didn't share with you last week, but I'm separating from my husband. But the trouble is we're living in the same house together and I can't um, get away from him because the house doesn't seem to be selling and every night when he comes home all he does is go on and on and on about how fat and ugly I am and how I've let myself go that nobody would ever want me and and it goes sort of worse from then on and I said okay well I told her about the fish and I told her about trout pout talking and I suggested that her mind could come up with something far far better anyway next week she came in and she said oh, I've lost you know four pound and I'm, I feel really really happy and I learned it from my cat and I what learned what from your cat and she said well you know how cats sometimes when they they walk out the room and they kind of flick their tail like that and you don't mean to look but you you look and its bottom kind of went pursed like that and says and that night when my husband came in and he started he says oh you fat ugly cow and he says his lips she says, I was fascinated looking at his lips she says it just looked like the cat's ass was talking and she says and the more I looked I couldn't hear what he was saying because it was like he wasn't getting a reaction from me so he was becoming even more animated even more like this and she said inside I was just giggling and she says and that was it the spell was broken and I want to plant a seed in your mind if you have somebody that is pretty horrible to you or who's you can't sort of get them out of your situation that you happen to be in at the moment to find a way to make it funny to make it humorous so that whatever they say it, it is like water off a duck's back and it washes over you another way is to hear Donald Duck chatting away so that you just don't take it seriously anyway it's great talking to you today and maybe visit my channel have a look at some of the other videos I've put up or the website and have a look at the other information there because there's a lot of information that can help you um, and great talking to you. Bye now.